Hey, hey y'all. Well, today is a local adventure. Uh, it's President's Day. We both had the day off, so we decided to take this Monday and come to Bach Tower. We're going to go on a little short hike. Uh, behind us are the gates to uh, the Pinewood Estates, leading down to Pinewood, and we're going to go start there. Then we're going to walk the trail around to Window by the Pond and then one of the other trails. Somewhere along the way, we're going to stop and have some lunch. We brought a picnic. Got a whole bag full of food on my back and a picnic blanket. And so we're going to be like Yogi Bear. And, hey, boo-boo, we'll have a picnic. <laughs> yeah, and the, the uh, azaleas and all the flowers and the camellias, they're in bloom right now. And it's, it's very beautiful. You can see um, as we pan around in the background. There's some azaleas back behind us. It's probably going to get a little bright here for a minute. Oh, there we go. We're dark. <laughs> And the camellias, more camellias and azaleas in the background. So it's a beautiful day. It's sunny. And we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy our picnic. So, like we always say, bye, y'all. As we're walking around here at Pinewood, uh, this uh, house is built in a Mediterranean style. But one of the interesting features is this balcony. And what's unique about it is the little um, stalactite that's hanging down from the wrought iron sculpture there. Now they say it takes, you know, thousands, millions of years for these little stalactites to form, but I'm pretty sure that this house has not been here, but maybe a hundred years. And stalactites are formed from water dripping through limestone, and you can see this little stalactite has formed here. So, you know, maybe the earth really isn't as old as uh, people say it is. Around Bach Tower, there are a lot of uh, beautiful uh, photogenic spots that you can uh, pose in and take different pictures, and that's what I'm getting ready to do now. A lot of people come and have weddings here, and uh, right here is a pretty, one of the pretty spots that um, is very beautiful. <laughs> so you can see Paul's waiting over there for me to turn around and take a picture of this beautiful spot right here so let me turn around show you the other side I mean look at this it doesn't matter what which spot you're at you know you can keep turning all of it's beautiful so we're out walking in an area that we haven't uh, walked in in Bach Tower we are right across the fence from um, Mountain View Estates. Mountain Lake. Mountain Lake Estates, sorry. Um, it's kind of a really ritzy community. So anyway, what I really wanted to show you was as you're walking out in, in nature, please be careful of its inhabitants and their homes. And you can see right behind me, we found a rather large gopher hole. So um, don't know if any, any creatures are inside or not, but don't go sticking your hand down there and trying to figure out if you can pull the creature out or not because you might get snake bitten. Because <laughs> um, snakes also like to hide in gopher holes. So when you're out just walking around, just be aware of your surroundings and be respectful of nature and its inhabitants. So remember what I said a few minutes ago about um, being respectful of nature? Well, Bach Tower does the same thing. And they have marked a small little uh, gopher hole here as a warning for tourists and other people like ourselves walking up on it that you don't disturb it in any way. Much like um, sea turtle nests are marked when you see them on the beach. So just be aware of things again like this as you're out walking around and just have a great time. Well, it's time for lunch and Paul is getting our picnic lunch ready at Bach Tower 
and we found a pretty nice spot to look out over the scenery in the background. Um, Buck Tower is set up on a ridge. It's the highest ridge in Central Florida and when you're at the, the top you can see out a long way on all sides. So um, we're just going to sit down here under the shade of these beautiful majestic oaks and enjoy our picnic lunch. Bach Tower is a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful time of year to come. Um, it's, the weather is great, it's cool, not too, not too hot, and uh, lots of people out enjoying the sights around. As I said, we are up on a ridge, and I've taken a couple of pictures, but you can just see how far you can uh, see out there on the ridge. So get out. Enjoy the day, enjoy your time with family. <laughs> enjoy your and, backyard. And nature, and your own backyard. The Buck Tower area is set up on a ridge, and I've already shown you um, a couple of the spectacular views that you can um, see from this, this area of Polk County here in Florida. So, we're just, just stepping out in the sunlight and uh, get a get a load of uh, this view, the view of the orange groves on this side and the surrounding area. It just goes on for miles. This so, area is this area of the ridge is what used to be all of Peninsula, Florida, when most of Florida was covered up by water, and behind us is. Iron Mountain, which is the highest point in Peninsula, Florida, at 127 feet above sea level, I think. And then right behind Sarah, if she spins around a little bit, this area is called Pine Knoll, and it's a restoration project that Bach Tower is undertaking right now, uh, trying to get the, the longleaf pine reestablished in this area. Longleaf pine is native, this part of the state. And we're getting ready to go across the street here, and this is the Pine Ridge Trail. So we're going to walk the Pine Ridge Trail all the way back around the window by the pond. Okay, so the uh, gophers that I've been talking about, we've actually found one. Um, we were just walking along the trail, and I heard a noise, and I, I thought maybe it was squirrels in the trees. But if we can't really see him right at the moment, but let me zoom in. I think you might be able to see him. So he's right in the center of the video. Um, this little guy was rustling through the leaves and I think he spotted us and he has stopped. So we're not going to get any closer. Now the Bog Tower area also has a lot of different ecosystems. Uh, the one of which we were just on was the Pine Ridge area, which is uh, very high and dry. And uh, so the, the uh, area that we're getting ready to go on now is going downhill uh, by the window by the pond, which is a very going to be a very um, moist area. So as we go down this trail, you can already see the, um, the plants are changing. There's more oaks grass along the way and I'm sure as we get closer to the pond there'll be more um, plants that are more water friendly. Yeah. Aquatic plants. <laughs> Aquatic. There you go. All right. Thank you. Actually I think the, the proper term is hydric. 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 Plants. Thank you Mr. Tour Guide. <laughs> <laughs> So off we go. Okay, so now we've um, gotten back onto the Pine Preserve Trail, um, but this part of it, as I said a while ago, is getting more lush because we're getting going downhill into a more swampy type area. Um, the plants are more, as I said earlier, water friendly or aquatic. And this is the bottom. So this is the window by the pond. As I said, it's just a little viewing area.
it's just a, a nice, peaceful place to come and sit and relax for a few minutes. Hi, y'all again. Well, we've concluded our walk through Block Tower for the day, I believe. Um, it's been a really beautiful walk. And a nice day. As I said, we've reached the, the point that's the most scary part of our journey. We're returning to civilization. Back to civilization. <laughs> so if you get the opportunity, if you're in Central Florida, uh, Bach Tower Gardens is in Lake Wales, and it's right in the center of the state at the junction of Highway 60, which runs east and west across the state, and Highway 27, which runs north and south. So if you're in that area, in this area, stop by, enjoy Bach Tower Gardens. There's uh, plenty to see and do here. They have a video that talks about the history. They have a little museum area that talks about the, the, uh, Edward Bach who founded this place. And they even have a children's play area, which um, we haven't visited this time because obviously our grandchildren aren't with us. <laughs> but they've made a lot of improvements over the years, but still the basic Part of it is that they have the, the tower, which is a carillion, and you can hear it playing in the background. Maybe. Maybe, not too much. And also the beautiful flowers all over the garden. They do a great job of maintaining it. And as I said before, it's been very busy today. See what the size is. If you're in the area, stop by, visit Bach Tower Gardens, and plan on spending at least two or three hours here, if not the full day. They have a small restaurant here, a cafe, gift shop. You can even buy some plants to take home. And uh, prices are reasonable. It's not anything uh, that you can't handle. <laughs> used to be $8 a car load. Now I think it's $15 a person. But if you're like us, we're in the area. We live close. So we buy an annual membership which helps support the gardens and also it allows us to get in free uh, whenever we want to come. So it's definitely worth it if, you're, if you live in this area. And on top of that, they reciprocate with other gardens throughout the country and museums. So come visit Bach Tower Gardens if you're in the area. As always we say, bye y'all.